Christmas in Italy is a little bit different. Really, the focus is more about the birth of Jesus, and um, but then they have La Befana, which is equivalent to our Santa Claus, except for it's a little old lady. It's a long story, and it's a cute story. If you have a chance, get the book. There's books, there's videos on La Befana. Christmas Eve night, um, they turn out all the lights, so the whole town is pitch black. At midnight, the whole town turns on the lights, and you have this beautiful blaze that happens. Everyone starts to sing because they're celebrating the birth of, of the Lord, of Jesus. Um, so they have the Befana, they have the, the lights, they have always the gift and the food. Oh, the food, it has to be a lot of food. <laughs> absolute biggest thing that I've done, biggest highlight, not just of the year, but the 11 and a half years I've been here, was to be able to sit down and be in Italy, in a country that I love, that I have roots in, and to talk about the jewelry that I know that they're so proud of. This is the traditional way. Traditional, traditional way. way. And at the end of the day, this is what beats everything. She's making a handmade Byzantina chain. A handmade Byzantine chain. Yes, every ring by themselves. 80% is hand working. There is no machinery that can do it. See, everything's soldered by hand. This is it. This, this is the no, way it's done. There's no other way you can solder a piece like this. Everything has to be made all by hand. A Byzantina chain is the only way you can fix it together. Vigenza's style is all about really trying to encompass the Italians not just their jewelry, but their emotion, their families, their towns, their country, their passion. And it all kind of trickles down to a beautiful piece of jewelry, whether it's silver, bronze, or gold. I was really excited about being able to, to be in one of my home countries. I think they're both my home countries, the United States and Italy, because I have half my family there, half my family here. So I was excited about getting to be in Italy. To be able to be on QVC doing the Vicenza remote blows my mind away. I don't know. Are you recording? Yes. Oh my God. What I loved about the way that we did Vicenza style this year was that it was back to the grassroots of Italy. It was what the people are really about. But I was excited to show the viewer the real Italy, my Italy, the small towns, the small factories, where the roots are, where the warmth is, where the people are. And that's what I was really, really excited um, to see. You want to try an Italian ice cream? Gelato? Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> Buongiorno. Buongiorno. Cono gelato? Si. Due cono gelato. Mm. Oh my god. Grazie. Grazie. Okay. Antonella, mm. what do you Demi. think about colors of metal? QVC is a global company, meaning Italy is included in there. There's France, there's Germany, there's China, there's it's so many. Um, I've lost count. There's QVC Italy as well. I did go and train the show hosts in Italy a couple years ago when they launched the station. And to be able to get to work with one of the show hosts, Sarah Celeste, I just thought that was the coolest thing because she was a show host in Italy, I was the show host here in the United States. To watch those two worlds collide was gonna be fun. And she was a pleasure to be with, she was excellent, she was professional, and our viewers loved her. She's sexy, she cares, yeah, dangerous. <laughs> Not only did Sarah and I do the, uh, do the live show, but we got to go to the trade show, we got to go to some of the factories, and it was fun walking through with her, getting her take on it, and I wanted to really pick her brain and be like, Sarah, you know, is this, you know, is this really hot right now on the streets of Italy? And she would say, yes, you know, the big and bold, the radiant rip. It was like two kids in a candy store going through this and looking at all of the trends, going through the trade show and seeing everything that was super hot right now in Italy.
look at the beautiful little streets and roads and the shops and everywhere you look, it's beautiful. And the thing is, it translates into everything, the food, the jewelry. I feel lucky to live in Italy because mm -hmm. think about the fashion. It's been a great year here at QVC, not just Italy, uh, but the whole year. I want to thank QVC for giving me the chance to go. And most of all, I wanted to thank the viewer for having an open heart and an open mind um, to what I was bringing uh, this year to the show. Uh, it was a dream come true for me. I'll never forget it, and I thank everyone so much.